Hello boys, it's Miss Polding here. Now I thought I would read you one of my favourite books, which I think is really thoughtful and there's a moral at the end of it for what we have learned when reading the story. So we're going to have a quick um, discussion at the end about what we think we have learned from this book. So it's called Ruby's Worry and it's by Tom Percival. So, Ruby's worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high. And she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. Oh, she discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. Oh dear boys, look. That's what she's talking about. There's the worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it. But then the worry started to grow. Each day, it got a little bit bigger. Look at how small it started out, boys. And look at how it's growing. Do you think she looks happy about that? It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box. And it was still there at night when she cleaned her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. They're all very busy, aren't they? Focused in their lessons, but oh dear, the worry is lurking and no one else can see it, can they? She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing the things that she loved. Look here, the worry's on the swing with her. Can she push properly? No, I don't think she can concentrate. She's going for a walk, but is she enjoying her walk? Look at the colours, boys. Can you see beautiful colours? All I can see is dark and grey. It's not what it's like outside with all the beautiful flowers and, and trees, is it? It's not always dark and grey around us. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realise that she was doing the worst thing that you can ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now, the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at tea time. It filled up half of the school bus. And it took up whole rows at the cinema. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about. And it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Oh dear. Then one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone at the park. He looked how she felt sad and then she noticed something else something hovering next to him could it be a worry look here so she's got a yellow one what color is his a blue one who oh do and he doesn't look very happy either does he it was 
Ruby realised that she wasn't the only person with a worry at all. Other people had them too. Look, behind him, there's his worry. Oh, and he's got a little worry cloud next to him. Oh, and so does she. It's very big on her, isn't it? She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened. His worry began to shrink. Wow, that's clever, isn't it? So the worries, if you're not telling anyone, maybe they get bigger as you worry about them. But as she's telling the boy, the worries have got smaller. Then Ruby did the best thing you can ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time that she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. Now, I hope you enjoyed that book, boys. Now, my question to find out the moral of the story, what do we think it is? What did Ruby find out in the story? Pause here and you can talk to an adult because I'm going to tell you what it is in a minute. The moral is that if you do have a worry, something that hangs around you and gets bigger and bigger the more you think about it, the, the only way that we can get rid of it is to tell someone around us, be it one of your um, parents, be it a teacher, be it a grandparent or a friend. If you talk about that worry, boys, it goes from being ginormous, like with Ruby, to when she told the told her friend about the worry. Look, it shrank, didn't it? So if you ever have a worry monster behind you, the best thing that we can do is to tell someone. And that's why I think this book is so brilliant because it shows it so clearly that we all have worries, but the best way to deal with it is to talk to someone else. 